If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. At least I think this is still a call for an uprising. I apologize for not uploading in the last few days. I just have not been feeling great, but most of you probably are familiar with all this stuff that's going on. That is one of the reasons that I don't feel great because it just brings up a lot of things that remind me of everything going on in the world that is so heartbreaking and hard to deal with. But the stuff with Wayfair, and again, what was Wayfair's old uh, catchphrase? Or is it still their current catchphrase? <laughs> they got everything you need? I mean, are they literally talking about that now? Wayfair, you've got just what I need. Everything for my home, you got it for me. I've never seen selection quite like this. Every color and size in my mind. They have every single thing on my list. And with 70% off, who knows what I'll buy. Shop everything home at Wayfair.com. Now, look, I'm uploading videos uh, on my website. I uploaded a video today about the Wayfair situation. I obviously know that I can't cover it here on YouTube. You have to be kind of dumb to take the bait and cover it here. Oh, I mean, at least excessively. And do the things that we usually do here on YouTube or used to do in the past because we know that they're obviously completely trying to bait all of us all the time. But I will say this about it, at least here on YouTube, for those of you, you know, who are listening. All of this stuff that occurs is real. But when things make the news, they make the news for a reason. They only make the news for a reason. They don't trend, trend on Twitter, number one, unless they want it to trend. NBC is not covering it unless they're going to. And you can say, well, they, they could cover it to deflect, which is 100% true. They cover topics to deflect all the time, but not within 24 hours. Not before something becomes big. Because what they're doing is they're making it big on their own deliberately for a reason. Now, we don't know what that reason even could be yet. It could just be more censorship. And I know people roll their eyes at that because when we hear stories like this, we all naturally get deflated, right? We all just, because if you're awake, you know that this stuff goes on. And you know the majority of CEOs, billionaires in these corporations, they're not there because they're making cheap furniture and crappy pictures and uh, suddenly becoming billionaires when they have you know, way too much inventory where nobody's even buying anything on a place like Wayfair in the first place. They're there because they're involved in other businesses, such as the biggest business in the world, which is the trafficking of children, buying and selling, which, again, you can't get into here. They don't want truth or any of that stuff here. But I'll tell you this. There's sigil magic, and there's people who have made good arguments about, well, they think that this whole thing's real because sigil magic, and they do reveal themselves. But this isn't how sigil magic works. This is like a bait-and-hook capture type of tactic. Because hypothetically speaking, if they're doing... And I've talked about this, and I talked about it on the website today, you know, about art shows and how they would use art shows because you can't label a price on something, Right? You could say, who drew this? And they could be like, oh, it's uh, armpit hairs. Who? Like, oh, he's the new big thing. Oh, is he? And really, he just pees on the, you know, on a canvas and throws scissors at it and, uh, you know, and feces. And he's, oh, 70,000. And somebody could be like, that's where 70, they're like, well, armpit hair drew it. Oh, my armpit hair. Well, then we better, then it's definitely worth whatever he says. And I should look into buying it. Right? And we've seen all these shows that have used programming to make us think like, oh, these art shows, these rich and fancy types, and ooh, $100,000 for a painting. Well, that's a front to launder. That's what they're used for. I've said that since I've started my channel in 2016. Something like this, is, like Wayfair, is not a front to buy and sell. That's the first thing. I mean, the first thing you think when you hear this is you're taken aback because you know this stuff goes on. If you have a soul, it hurts your, it breaks your heart. It doesn't hurt your heart. It breaks your heart. It pisses you off, too. It does a lot of things. It drains you mentally and emotionally. But then you got to step back and you got to go, okay, I got to take my emotions out of this and just think rationally. What if, hypothetically, you accidentally bought this? 
Somebody did. What if, hypothetically, someone who's not connected to Wayfair, such as the delivery guy, which I'm assuming is UPS or FedEx, accidentally shipped something to the wrong house? You think they might have a problem then? Hi, uh, this is uh, Joe the plumber. Uh, packages came to my front door. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's a cabinet with a child in it. Uh, I didn't order this. Um, I'm pretty sure that would open Pandora's box. They do not operate on a level like this. They're not sloppy. They're not, they're not doing something where it's like a common person or a computer glitch could accidentally send a child in a box somewhere. That's not how it works. You have to be in the inner circle, inside of their network. You have to be back-checked. They have to have stuff on you to make sure that you don't blackmail them or that you're not a narc or anything else. They're not just openly doing it. They're just not. And I know it's hard for people to believe because we all get, when you hear this stuff, you immediately want to knock somebody's teeth out. I do. We all remember Pizzagate. Pizzagate was way different than this, okay? Pizzagate was about allegations and suspicion. When I was covering it, when it first broke, and I mean, people still cover it and go through it, and that's fine by me. I mean, they can do what they want. They have free speech and the right to research and do what they want. But it was really about James Alifantis. It wasn't about, I never covered it from the political aspect of it because I never believed in politics. It was about the guy, things the guy posted on his Instagram because any regular person would have been investigated for posting that stuff. Anyone. Your next door neighbor, if he posts pictures of a kid naked or whatever with the money in his mouth and stuff like that, and he calls the police, they're probably going to come. If he posts it on his Facebook, they're probably going to come. We know that the police show up at people's houses for saying stuff on the internet that aren't politically correct. We're seeing more and more censorship and stuff like that. That's the truth. And that's really what that was about was, okay, well... We have all these connections on that road and, you know, where Comet Ping Pong was and all this stuff, but it wasn't like, oh, there was proof of an actual purchase or a sale. With this now, everybody thinks there's a proof of a purchase and sale because the names of the cabinets and all this stuff have the names of a lot of these kids uh, that supposedly have uh, left or gone missing, I should say. And then, of course, it's been debunked and people come back. And then there's other stories about books on the bookshelves that are talking about harvesting, you know, organs and things like that. Um, and people believe, well, it's either photoshopped or it's not. And yeah, you can go back and forth on stuff like that. But realistically, two billionaires who you could look at who look very suspicious anyway, aren't going to be doing this on an open front forum on a website. Now, you might say, well, they do it on the back end of the site with an account and somehow it ended up flipping to the front side. No, they're not doing it this way. They don't need to do it this way. You think they're going to be careless all right, this isn't, like, you know, I said this on my website. This isn't like, you know, on the ID channel when you watch these murder shows or whatever, uh, you know, a guy has an affair, right? And he's so dumb, he, you know, puts the hotel and he puts porn on his, uh, you know, on his credit card and his wife sees the credit card. This, is, it's, this isn't what this is, right? But something like that, you'd say, wow, that's, that's really dumb and sloppy. You think these billionaires are going to be sloppy like that and they're just going to post this stuff? And they're going to go, okay, and we're going to make $15,000 on a pillow, and it's going to get sent to someone's front door. Uh, and they're not going to think about, well, wait a minute, are there any middlemen involved? Uh, yeah, there's tons of middlemen, because Wayfair isn't taking it out of a warehouse and coming to your front door directly. They're going through a shipping service. And even so, even if Wayfair did ship on their own and have their own shipping guys hired who make twenty dollars to $30,000 a year, okay, They'd be people who would easily be likely to flip because they're not making any money and they wouldn't care and they probably wouldn't be able to vet people who have souls and who don't. Like I said on my website, and again, I hope you guys will join the website so these things can be discussed openly and not be censored like over here. And again, my other main channel, still going on three weeks under review. I mean, it's a joke to get it remonetized, to get it to back and functioning again without these restrictions on it. But at least on the website, I can up to upload. And what I did was I posted about this and I wanted to read everyone's comments. So many people commented, they posted stuff, they shared stuff. You know, some people originally thought it was real. Then they went back and they said, you know what? I, I think it probably is because you got to take time and you got to look at this stuff and you got to investigate it as far as you feel necessary to make a decision on it. And look, we all could be wrong about all this stuff. I wouldn't say at all that anyone's wrong with thinking that these people are involved in it. But this type of thing, when it's linked to QAnon, don't forget the election in, uh, is coming up and four years ago at the same time as Pizzagate. So you don't think that they're going to try to correlate the two and say, oh, look, you know, they, they try to bring all these Christians try to bring up Satan because they think Trump's the savior and they think there's some satanic rings going on and they want to save Trump. So he wins the election and it's some Satanist going on. They love to do stuff like that. All it does is water down the real, the real truth around these satanic rings. 
There's no mentioning of these covens that breed children. You know many of these sat satanic witches, their whole existence is to breed. They breed them, and then they sell them, buy them and sell them to each other, and then they use them in rituals. So it's not just about lust and perversion. It's about the rituals that they use that they do, right? And follow the teachings they follow of Aleister Crowley and these other disgusting, disturbing people. We've all seen it, we've heard it, we know it. But with stuff like this, you have to just continue to wait and watch it play out because it's not trending number one on Twitter overnight. It's not you know, being talked about in the media the next day unless they want it to be because they can make it go away. And if the people force their hand, they'll come out and they'll deflect. That's what they've done with shots as far as uh, vaxes in your arm. Right, the flu shot and all that. That's what they've done with Pizzagate. They, they, it takes time and then they suddenly go, okay, there's a lot of, we're seeing the data on the internet. Everyone's talking about this. We need to come out and talk about it. Maybe we could twist the story to fit our narrative and that's what they end up doing and then they make us all look stupid. And again, you can have whatever opinion you want on this because this stuff is real. And if it motivates you to try to get to the truth of exposing this stuff, then so be it. But don't think for one second that if you punch your credit card in on one of these items that a child's getting sent to your front door. And you're, you know what I mean? There's a long vetting process that I'm sure is involved in this. And that's how they all keep their noses clean. And that's, remember, with the Brotherhood and the Secret Societies, what do they do? They take vows and they take oaths to each other, right? Swear to secrecy, swear to death. They're not just going to, oh, all right, well, we don't have anything on the Joe the plumber, but we're going to send him a kid in a cabinet. No, it doesn't work like that. It's not that easy for... Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, these uh, like a, a regular person to gain access to these rings. It's just not. There's a lot of bloodlines involved. There's a lot of secret groups you have to go through. There's also isolated incidences, obviously, where there's creepy guys who are into this stuff. We know that. And those are the guys that you usually hear about in the media. You don't hear about satanic rings. What do you hear about? Oh, some creepy guy in a, in a van, you know, did this to a kid in a neighborhood. He gets arrested. Everybody wants to, you know, attack the guy. They'll put that out. They'll arrest the guy for that because he's not involved in a ring. But when they're involved in these rings and these circles, they're protected because these stories never get out. And something like this, it's not working that way. It's just not. So I talk about it on my website in more detail and some of the other stuff. I apologize for not uploading uh, much lately. I've just been completely, utterly drained. Um, I don't even, I don't feel like myself uh, just from the standpoint of being drained, you know, and I'm not going to make videos just to make videos, uh, you know, if I don't feel too great. And obviously it's, it's more than just the Wayfair. It's all this stuff with these lockdowns and now the second wave of lockdowns and obviously the, um, the, uh, the other crap going on with free speech. And it, it's just every day it seems like it, it gets worse and it's starting to wear on me a little bit, but I'm going to try to snap out of it. I appreciate you guys still being here. I love all of you. I hope you guys will check out the website and thank you again for all the support, especially those of you, uh, the patrons as well, uh, means the world to me. So thank you all. God bless you and your families.